Hey guys, this is Risk here, back with an analysis of Jadong's versus Flash quote unquote Rico build. So, what is the Rico build by Jadong? It's very simple. Essentially, it is Ravager Rush into pure Eco. So, I am going to have an example of that this game. So, if you watch the uh, Jadong vs. Flash video that I linked before, and I would strongly encourage you to do so because it was an excellent series between the two where Jadong won. But in game two, Jadong had this incredible build that I had never seen before in Legacy of the Void so far. It was a clear cut example of a rush into pure macro that was so well done and so simple that I just I had to go over this and I had to have an analysis of it so it's very simple first off you're gonna go overlord on 13 which there's some debate over that whether you wanna go 14 or 13 Jedi won 13 you then are going to drone up to 17 drones and from there you are going to head over and take your natural base at 17 supply this build is so simple too that's the beauty of it any pretty much anyone can do this build such a simple opener so he comes down here, he's going to go ahead and take his hatchery, and then he's going to drone back up to 18 drones, and at 18 supply, you're going to go ahead and get your gas. And you're going to drone all the way back up to 18 drones. So like I said, 18 gas, drone back up to 18. And then you're going to go ahead and get your spawning pool. Very simple. Now, so we have a little bit of time to kill, since we're going to get our three guys on gas. What is this build weak against? And to be honest, if you micro correctly at the front door, not much. The key to this strategy is going to be A, stopping scouting info by the Reaper, B, having good Roach Ravager micro at the front door, C, macroing up at home while you're doing the Ravager attack. It's, it's a very simple things that you need to do. So right now you're just mining, collecting gas, droning up as hard as you can. Our next timing window is going to be at 210. You're going to go ahead and get your second Vespian gas. Uh, my Terran opponent was looks like he went for a Reaper into CC on the low ground, which all of these are pretty common things. And I probably would say I have about 30 to 40 percent of the time I straight up win at the front door, just straight up. So I'm going to go ahead 210. I'm going to get my extractor, and this Reaper does a little bit more than it should. My my uh, micro is not on point. You have to choose between getting two to four links to respond to a Reaper opening. And I chose two, which in turn meant I lost a drone. So maybe I'll go with four in the future. The problem is if you go with um, four links, you have one less roach for your push at the front door. So from here, you get your double queen. Also, if he ever swings by the back of your main base, you want a cute metabolic boost so it doesn't, so it doesn't look like you're doing anything fishy. Uh, pretty easy to do. When you cancel Metabolic Boost, you get 100% resources back, so it's not like you're losing anything. So here's the next key timing. At 31 Supply, you're going to go ahead and get your Roach Warren. 31 Supply, Roach Warren. So let's see. How many drones do I have? Right now I have 24 drones. I have 6 guys on gas. I have 2 queens. And if we look at the Terran, he's been macroing as hard as we can. And we're still on even footing in terms of economy right now, right? But this is when the gap is starting to widen when you begin to save up money for your roach farm. So I'm going to go to normal speed just for a tiny bit because we want to be sure to keep track of this. Next, you're going to queue up two overlords and you're going to go all the way up to three overlords. You want to get one more drone after that roach warren. 24 is a critical number for production in terms of mineral intake. So you're going to go ahead and get three overlords total. And you can get one more queen. I think it's fine to get one more queen. It depends on how much you want to commit to this. If you just get one queen, you're going to have one, two less roaches. Gas is your limiting um, factor in this push because the Ravagers are very gas intensive. So at this point, we're just killing time. Our opponent's going for 3cc, which is perfect, right? 3cc isn't all that uncommon. It's it's semi-common, but this uh, works very well against non-3cc openings as well. Even if you don't do a lot of damage at the front, you can really contain their third for quite some time and put quite a bit of pressure on. So now we're queuing up our five roaches. I had some idle drones there for a second. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I made a mistake or two. I am a master, grandmaster level player, and this still happens every once in a while. We forget to put your drones back on the mineral line. Sorry about that. So go ahead and we're going to get our seven roaches, and we're literally going to rally them across the map. Now, really important thing to note, Ravagers actually move faster than roaches do. So 
it's just something to note if you ever have more than the amount of if you ever have if you're ever sending your roaches across the map and you have a big group of them and you want to morph ravagers morph the ones in um the back because by the time they're morphed they'll actually catch up to the roaches that were in front of them because ravagers actually move faster so continuing it on here look at this droning drone 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 you want to drone as hard as you can drone hard as you can and with that extra cream or creep tumoring right so we are droning so hard right now and right here we just catch this guy completely off guard which usually there'll be stuff in the bunker but it takes so long for them to react with their SCVs and by the time you get there if they start repairing it you just drop uh, your corrosive bile right on the edges of the bunker and kill all of their SCVs so right here this is usually what happens it's either this or they pull a bunch of SCVs and you're killing SCVs he decided to just evacuate right away I don't blame him I mean he's he's 3 CC he's he's very fine in terms of economy but like I said it's just a nice little opening that either kills them straight up or you do something like this happens so I didn't even try to bother to go to the natural if you ever see there's no resistance at the front like don't overextend this build isn't like all in you're droning as hard as you can behind it so behind it you're getting your gases you're getting your evo chambers you're spreading creep tumors you're gonna be taking your third base don't forget to inject like this stuff is important like what we did at the front and usually there's a little bit more resistance than that resistance than that but what's happening at home is much more important you really want to be emphasizing keeping things going there and we're just gonna poke our head up and turn back around and we'll be fine with what we've got so from here I'm just going to go from my perspective because from here it's just a normal macro game I will have the opening below in the video description the build order but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and watch from my perspective thanks for watching guys you don't have to watch the rest of the game I did win very convincingly if you want to see some very nice macro play and whatnot you can go ahead and stick around and watch the conclusion but that is the opening right there that simple opening and I will have that link below so from from here on out guys just enjoy the gameplay as I queue up, queue up some music Feel the vibe. 